interior espresso coffee shop morning. Ed, 37, out of shape, lovable like Santa, talks to Reggie, 31, a sarc sarcastic rebel, the type of girl who wears a leather jacket but can't afford the motorcycle. Sparky, he's a dog, sits in Ed's arms. I can't lose my business. This is all I have. We've already been struggling enough. Why does this have to happen? You're not going to lose your business. Yes, I am. Do you know what they do to places like us? Marty, 28, plump like a smurf, with the pizzazz of a 1980s BJ, enters from the kitchen with Gina, 33, what most Ginas look like. <laughs> Why does Ed look so paranoid? We have some bad news. Is it about Ed's dog? Because I swear I didn't feed him any chocolate-covered espresso beans. Sparky knows the truth. No. <laughs> what could be worse than Sparky dying? Ed loves Sparky. Look at the new sign they put up for the, for the plaza. This is the new shop next door. They see the green and white sign in horror. It's a Star Fox. <laughs> in the cold open. Opening credits and theme song, hopefully, performed by Weezer. <laughs> Coffee lattes, you know where to go. Espresso, espresso. Mocha, vanilla, cappuccino. Espresso, espresso. Keep it keen with lots of caffeine. Espresso, espresso. It, 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 espresso. Weezer! <laughs> Okay, dis despite the star fox, let's try to make this a good first day for Sam. Sam, 22, brown hair, brown glasses, brown shirt, waves. Hey everyone, uh, I want to thank you for this opportunity. I really need this job to pay my school loans. Sam here just graduated from Yale and now he's working for our coffee shop. <laughs> Everybody, welcome Sam. Hi Sam. Word, Sam. Here at Espresso, Sam, you're just, you're not just an employee to me, you're family. Yeah. Don't think about espresso as where he works. Think about it like a cult. Like a really good cult. A cult about coffee and coffee related drinks. Um, sure. Wow, you almost really love coffee. Actually, I hate coffee. But I do love selling coffee. So you don't drink coffee, yet you own a coffee shop named Edspresso? It was my dead wife's idea. <laughs> God rest her soul. Coffee isn't my cup of tea. A cup of tea is more my cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> then why didn't you name it after her? Because my wife's name was Helen, and Helen's espresso just didn't work. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway, let's get to work. <laughs> Reggie and I will serve samples outside. Marty, you train Sam on the counter. Gina, you stay in the kitchen. Now, group hug. Yes, Sammy, it's hug time. Hope you're ready for this. Sam hesitates, but hugs anyway. Interior counter day. Marty trained Sam at the register. And never call Reggie by her first name, Regina. We already have a Gina, and you can't have a Regina and Gina. <laughs> Always call her Reggie, got it. Gina enters from the kitchen. So Sam, are you ready for initiation? Initiation? Not just anyone can graduate from an Ivy League college and be a barista. <laughs> so how do I get initiated? The 33 shot salute. <laughs> I can't get drunk on my first day of real work ever. <laughs> no, not liquor. Espresso. Or as we like to say, add a D to it. You call it Despresso? <laughs> <laughs> add the D after the E, and you get Espresso, you know, the name of the shop. You went to Yale, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Espresso. Gina Poor Sam, two shots. Between now and the end of the day, you have to drink 33 espresso shots. That's just doing them in pairs. That's why they pour two at a time. Uh, if that's what everyone does, okay. I'm sure 33 shots is not a lot. What's the worst that could happen? Sam goes down its first two shots. Ugh. In exterior <laughs> Wegmans Plaza day, Ed and Reggie serve sample cups of coffee on the corner. I can't believe the world's largest coffee conglomerate has the nerve to move next door to us. Reggie sees an old lady walking. Excuse me, miss. Would you like to sample uh, our house blend? It's from Chechnya. Oh, Chechnya coffee. I wonder if that's better than the Starbucks I just had. <laughs> you just had Starbucks? Yeah, they're giving out free drinks. Ten feet away, Ed and Reggie see three Starbucks employees giving out free drinks. Son of a they walk out to the Starbucks manager, 35. He wears a clean, crisp, custom-fit apron and stands next to his employee, Zach. 
The other employee is a pretty girl who's dressed as a mermaid. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Good morning, sir. We're offering free drinks in honor of our grand opening Thursday. Would you like a free frappuccino or our new hot blonde coffee? <laughs> Reggie! <laughs> I'm gonna try it, I'm not gonna buy it. Reggie drinks the hot blonde and spits it out. This coffee is bitter and burnt. No, we don't burn our coffee. We roast our beans the way they are supposed to be roasted. Or at least that's what we make our customers do. Mermaid, don't tell them that. I have a name. Don't call me Mermaid. It's not fair that just because I'm the only girl, I gotta dress up like a mermaid. How can you open your coffee shop right next to my coffee shop? Ed points to Espresso. ED Espresso? What does that mean? It's. Ed Espresso, because my name is Ed. Well, I apologize for the inconvenience, but there's nothing I can do except offer you a complimentary drink. What size would you like? Tall, grand, or Dicha Nove? Is that all you have? <coughs> no, we like to make drinks sound yeah. hotsy totsy. Our small is a tall, our medium is a grande, and our large is a Dicha Nove. How is your grande a medium? The word grande for Italian is large. At Starfucks, large is Dicinove. <laughs> that makes no sense. Grande is large. Dicinove. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I've had my coffee shop here for 13 years. It's the only thing I have. Oh, man, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. ED, go home. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fuck with Starbucks. <laughs> Don't tell me I can't fuck with Starbucks. I'll fuck, I'll fuck you so hard that... Well, I'll fuck you so hard that... I fuck, it'll be fucking hard, and it'll be so fucking hard, something bad will happen to you. You tell him, Ed. Interior <laughs> counter day. Sam gulps down two more shots and already talks about the hot women customers. The great thing about working in a plaza with a gym is the amount of bootyful ass you see every day. Uh -huh. As you can see, the spin cycle class just got out. <laughs> These women are... Ass-tastic. <laughs> <laughs> See that cute Latina right there? Yeah. I call dibs. <laughs> Got it. See that redhead there with the sexy, pasty skin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I call dibs. <laughs> and see that Brazilian chick with the gorgeous face? Your dibs? Oh, yeah. She's the dibbiest of my dibs. <laughs> So how many of these girls have you, uh, you know, hooked up with? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> Sam gives them a strange look. And then they all said I was fabulous. <laughs> Off screen. Marty, it's the kid's first date. Share your dibs. I'm not going to share my dibs. Sheena enters from the kitchen. You can't have dibs if you haven't done anything with your dibs. That's the dib law. <laughs> look who's talking. Hey. I have a boyfriend. I don't play around with dibs. A boyfriend we've never seen? I told you. He works the same times I work. That's how we connect as a couple. We share nights together. You don't have a boyfriend. Even ask the dog, Sparky. Does Gina have a boyfriend? Sparky looks dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to talking about you. These girls come in here all the time, and you're too chicken to ask them out. But I talk to them, and once I talk to them, then all they want is Marty. I bet you both are sharing a tip jar. I bet you both are sharing a tip jar for the week, whole week. You can't, you can't a girl to go out with you. But the end of the tip, I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> can't get a girl. <laughs> you're gonna bet sharing's in the tip jar. <laughs> I bet you both are sharing, you're sharing the tip jar for the whole week. That you can't get a girl to go out with you by the end of today. That's about a hundred bucks. I could too. Fine, let's bet. Deal. And if you don't get a date, then you let Sam get any dibs he wants. Well, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> sure, <laughs> like he has a chance. Exterior weapons class a day. Ed and Reggie talk. I'm gonna lose this coffee shop. What happened to fucking them hard? I haven't fucked anyone since Helen was alive. <laughs> she didn't like to fuck hard. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie looks at the source in our plaza. Well, I have a secret weapon. People who work in this plaza, or as I like to call them, plaza people. Interior Taekwondo Center. Day. The Taekwondo master, master opinion, meets with Reggie and Gina. You want me to get rid of Star Fox? Yes. I want you to make sure they never serve another over-roasted coffee again. And what do I do get if I do this? Anything you want from espresso for the next year. Coffee, lattes, assorted pastries. I don't consume those things. My body is a temple. 
We have 17 different kinds of tea. I do love tea. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> but do you have the sweet nectar of honey? <laughs> <laughs> of course. And our nectar is always free. Interior counter thing. <laughs> Sam gulps down two more shots as him and Marty see a gorgeous woman outside walking to the door. Who's that? Oh, that's Katie. She has the most amazing eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she has an amazing rack. And she has amazing hair. Yeah, I bet she has an amazing... Ding! The bell over the door where it rings. <laughs> Katie enters. Hey, Katie. How are you? I'm amazing, Marty. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Hey, I, I was wondering... Um, do you want to get a cup of coffee sometime? <laughs> sure. Really? Of course, that's why I came in here. Uh, yes. What, what I meant is, do you want to go out for a cup of coffee? Not for a cup of coffee right now. Uh, I mean, like with me. Aren't you serving my cup of coffee? Katie is amazing, but dumb. <laughs> I mean, I want you to get a cup of coffee with me outside of this coffee shop. Oh, asking someone for a cup of coffee is a weird thing to ask when you work in a coffee shop. Yes, I got that. <laughs> you're nice, but it's just, you're my barista. If we went out and our, and our cup of coffee didn't go so well, then I couldn't get a cup of coffee from you ever again. Yeah, totally. Gina yells from the kitchen. Hey, Marty, the humiliation must smell amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the exterior Wedlands Plaza day, Master Pinion marches to the Starbucks employees. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Giving out frappuccinos. I don't think so. There's only one coffee shop that deals out whatever the hell you just said. Master Pinion demonstrates a roundhouse kick. <laughs> now pack your things up or feel my wrath. The manager looks Master Pinion dead in the eyes. Oh, we'll feel your wrath. We love wraths that feel good. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Who put you up to this? Was it E.D.? Who's E.D.? Is that a disease? <laughs> <laughs> I work for the coffee shop in the plaza. Zach. Oh, that's E.D. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ed, not E.D., you moron. All right, no more Mr. Nice corporate manager guy. He changes his tone to become his real evil self. Looks like we gotta fuck them harder than I thought. How much are they paying you? They're paying me. In tea. Well, we can do more than tea. <laughs> if you do business with me, we can do business together, and together we can take down their small business. Master Pinion is very confused by this, but he nods his head anyway. <laughs> End of Act One. Act Two. Interior counter day. Sam tweaks as he does four more shots. Marty puts a fishbowl near the register, which reads, Drop your business card here to win. Sarah, a very cute girl, enters. Sarah spots the fishbowl. Oh, cool. I want to win. Sarah drops a business card in the bowl. Is this to win a free coffee? No, it's to win a free date with me. Oh. <laughs> wow. Cool. <laughs> Sarah slowly takes her card out of the fishbowl. You don't want to win? Um, no. It's not that I, I don't want to win, it's just I never, never win these kinds of things. And I might be out of town if I do, and I just like hate to re check the date several times. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Don't win it. A homeless hipster girl walks up to Sarah. Excuse me, miss. Oh, you buy me a bagel? No, I don't buy bagels for homeless hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll buy you a bagel if you go out with me. Date you for a bagel? No, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> what about a bagel and any drink you want? Even a frap Ed Chino? Yeah, sure, as, as long as you'll say you'll date me. All right, I'm in. Yes, did you hear that, Gina? I got a date with a hipster. Hipsters are not human. <laughs> Sparky growls as the Starbucks manager and his employees enter with Master Opinion, Ed, Reggie, and every customer's eyes are caught by the mermaid. What do you think you're doing? We're going to every store in this plaza, passing out frappuccinos and refreshies. You're giving out frappuccinos? That's tubular. Now I don't have to go out with that barista. Damn it! You better leave my cafe right now before I make you leave. You make me leave? I don't think so. We hired Master Pinion for protection. Master Pinion? How could you? They gave me $3,000. 
You give me two. <laughs> if someone offered you a few thousand dollars or a Snapple, what would you choose? But Snapple is made from the best stuff on earth. <laughs> if you want a war, ED, I'll give you a war. Check this out. He cleared his throat to make an announcement. Attention! Star Fox will be giving out free drinks for the next two months to all our new and soon to be loyal customers. The seven customers cheer in excitement. You can't do this to me! Too late. Ed yells to his seven customers. But but if you stay a loyal customer to Ed Espresso, then I'll offer free drinks for the next four months! The seven customers cheer in mega excitement. No, I never have to go out with that barista. Ed, we can't afford that. I know, but what else can we do? <laughs> the Starbucks manager laughs. You just ran your business to the ground. Face it, E.D., you and all your staff will be unemployed by next week. He looks at Sam, who does two shots. How long have you been here, boy? A year? Three years? That's my first day, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> really? Why don't you work for Star Fox instead? We're still hiring, and we can offer benefits. Here, take a frappuccino. He gives Sam a frappuccino. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, wow, that's good, wow! Wow, this frappanicho is frappantastic! <laughs> you can have all the frappanichos you can drink with us, and whatever they're paying you, we'll pay you 25 cents an hour more. Oh, a quarter more? Wowza! <laughs> <laughs> You're really trying to recruit an employee of theirs? Don't you think this is going too far? Starflux can never go too far. <laughs> Don't do it, Sam. You graduated from Yale! Is this what a Yale man would do? You graduated from Yale too? Hey, so did I! And now look at me! I'm a manager at a Star Fox! <laughs> you try to recruit the rookie? Why do you insist on tearing apart independent coffee shops? Because of you, America looks the same everywhere. Who are you, my grandma? Sam, you take my job offer right now and come with me, and I'll give you a dollar more every hour. A dollar, 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 yeah! <laughs> the manager puts his hand out for a shake. Yeah, yeah, I like dollars. Exterior, Espresso Alley, Day. Reggie and Gina take a cigarette break. First they gloat about how big they are, and now they actually steal an employee. This is why my boyfriend refuses to go to Starbucks. You don't have a boyfriend. Yes, I do! If we're going to save Ed Espresso, we have to play dirty. When our shift ends tonight, it's time to go shopping. Interior, Ed Espresso night. The shop is closed. Marty looks in the fishbowl. There's one piece of paper in it. Yes! He opens it and reads, You suck. <laughs> Love, Gina. Marty is crestfallen. I feel so crestfallen. <laughs> look at the word of the day calendar. The word is crestfallen. <laughs> Maybe I can't get any woman I want. Maybe I'm destined to be this lonely for the rest of my life. Ding! A customer enters. I'm sorry, we're closed. It's okay. I don't want anything. I just wanted to apologize for my boss. Your boss? Marty looks up to see the mermaid. Yeah, just to quit my job. All day they made me dress up like a mythical creature, and on top of that, they stole one of your employees. It's not right. No, it's not. Is there something I can do? Yeah, whatever. She sees Marty pick up the fishbowl. What was the fishbowl for? I was trying to get people to date me, but nobody wants to date me. I'll go on a date with you. You will? After working for Star Fox, it will make me feel better to do something for someone less fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> really? You'll really take me? <laughs> I already said yes, didn't I? Oh, uh, yeah. This is so awesome. I'm going on a date with a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you don't expect me to wear this costume on our date. <laughs> Exterior Starbucks, nice. Reggie and Gina smoke cigarettes as they break into the back door of Starbucks with alarm decoding equipment. Sam spots them, and he's a hot mess. Hey, hey guys, hey, what, what are you doing? Huh? None of your business, traitor. I'm sorry, real sorry, sorry for real. <laughs> Sam. If it makes it better, I got fired from Star Fox. How'd you get fired? I don't know. <laughs> Flashback to interior Star Fox earlier. Sam guzzles more espresso shots next to the manager. You can't learn how to make a frappanicho if you don't let me teach you. Frappanicho! Stop yelling frappanicho! <laughs> Sam parties and sings as he grabs two tubes of whipped cream and squeezes the cream out of them. Ha! Frappanichos, frappanichos, na 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 cappuccino, no cappuccino, na 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 Stop singing like Coca Roca in the style of frappanichos. Whipped cream flies everywhere. It's snowing. That's it, you're fired. I got fired, I just got fired, na 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 na
Starbucks continuous. Reggie and Gina disarm the lock with Sam. I'm super sorry. You should be. Do you know how hard it is to be an independent coffee shop when there's Starbucks everywhere? Not really. <laughs> it's hard, Sam, and Ed doesn't deserve to lose his business. He's the only one who would give me this job. When I got out of prison, nobody wanted to hire me, and then I met Ed. Why were you in prison? Raising an injury. The point is, that you to offer you a job that you needed when you went to the dark side. Reggie decodes the alarm system. She then uses her pocket knife to jimmy the lock. Ah, I really don't feel so good. I hope that guilt sinks in. That's because you work for Star Fox. No, I think it's all the shots Gina made me do. It's because you work for Star Fox. <laughs> Reggie opens the door. I'll be back. Sam, you say a word to anyone about this, and I'll shank you when you least expect it. I was in prison. I learned how to shank. I won't, I promise. <laughs> Reggie walks in with a suitcase. She walks to the counter and opens the suitcase, letting rats scatter everywhere. Thank you, Petco. <laughs> <laughs> she flicks her cigarette towards the kitchen. So this is what a Star Fox looked like? This place is pretty nice for a crap hole. <laughs> she looks at CDs next to the counter. These sell slow, smooth, blues, jazz rock? I love slow, smooth, blues, jazz rock. <laughs> Reggie pockets the CD. The cigarette has hit the bags of over-roasted Starbucks beans, igniting them. In seconds, the fire gets ahead of Reggie towards the back door. Oh, no! What's the matter? Starbucks beans are so over-roasted that they're flammable! Yeah, so? I accidentally created a fire. My cigarette hit their hot blonde beans. <laughs> Sam, go run to the front and tell Ed what happened. Sam sprints. Reggie runs to the front doors, but she's locked in. Gina tries to enter, but the fire spreads. Crap, crap, crap. Reggie starts coughing and realizes she's trapped. End of Act 2. Act 3. Exterior Starbucks night. Reggie hangs up the phone. Just hold on one minute. Reggie, the fire department's on their way. But Reggie can't hold on. The fire is everywhere, and she's running out of breath. She collapses. Exterior, espresso night. Sparky is barking like crazy. What is it, boy? What's the matter? Sam rushes to the front door and pounces on the glass. He tries to open the doors, but the doors are locked. Ed! Ed! Come quick! There's a... Sam suddenly grabs onto his chest. There's a what, Sam? Sam, are you okay? Oh. Sam goes into cardiac arrest. <laughs> Exterior, Starbucks. Moments later, Reggie's vision fades in and out as someone carries her out of the burning inferno. She sees shadows of Gina and a firefighter. Please don't tell anyone about this. We got your back, babe. It's the firefighter's code. If a girlfriend of a firefighter accidentally creates a fire, the fire department is cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about this, honey. Don't worry about it. This isn't the first arson we had to hide. <laughs> this happened to my ex three times. <laughs> Exterior, espresso night. Paramedics use a different defibrillator on Sam. He sparks up and wakes up to see Ed. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! What's going on? Sam, you just had a heart attack, but everything's gonna be okay. Heart attack? Holy fuck! Working in the real world is hard. Interior espresso <laughs> kitchen the next day. Gina creams a bagel as she watches the morning news. And what an incident there was yesterday at Wegmans Plaza. Hey guys, we made the news! Ed enters, followed by Reggie and Marty. A local Starbucks was set on fire, and a 22-year-old man went into cardiac arrest after having too many free samples from Starbucks. They're blaming Starbucks? The young man said Starbucks was offering free frappanichos, and then gave him a job. After being hired, the manager kept, the manager kept pushing him to drink more. Wow, way to lie, Sam. Yeah. A Starbucks spokesperson says the company apologizes and assures the public that the manager has been fired and sent to prison. <laughs> the manager is arrested on TV. I don't deserve to go to prison. I went to Yale. <laughs> Starbucks has also decided to close their new branch as requested by the young man. Sam is on TV. He looks like an empty shell of a man. They abuse me. I feel violated. And I will never forgive Star Fox for this unless they close that new branch immediately. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! No more Star Fox! We won! As they celebrate, Sam enters without anyone knowing. I can't believe Sam did this for us. I wonder why. Because I don't want to take this place away from Ed. All of you, or this community. They all turn around to see Sam. Reggie, you were right. Why should I help a huge corporate chain when I can help the little shops who need it? Sam, thank you so much. I haven't been this happy in years. Is there anything we can do for you? Yeah, actually, I could use my job back. I know I didn't pass my initiation, but I'd still love to work here. What initiation? Oh, uh, Gina and Marty told me I had to do 33 shots. I only did 32. Gina and Marty, you owe me $96. 
<laughs> oh, snap! Newbie, we were only messing with you. You didn't think you would do 33 shots. I just chose that number because that's how old I am. <laughs> what? I had a heart attack! Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. I'm family now. That's what family does. Yeah. Interior espresso day. Reggie and Gina talk behind the counter as Master Pinion enters. I still don't believe that you have a boyfriend. He saved your life. That was a dream. <laughs> it wasn't a dream. Hi. Can I get a large jasmine tea with honey? Three dollars for the tea and five dollars for the honey. <laughs> five dollars for honey. It's always free. It's five dollars for you. Marty talks to Sam. You feeling better? Well, today I have to go to the bathroom in every single direction all the time. <laughs> Put a bed in a heart attack. If it makes you feel better, I'm going to let you have any dibs you want. That does make me feel better. Ed pets Sparky, who is happy now, too. They watch construction workers take down the Starfucks sign. We brought down a Starfucks, Sparky. I can't believe it. This is a proud day for Ed Espresso. They take in this moment as the construction workers put up a new sign that says, Coming soon, Cincinnati's best. <laughs> In the back three, tag, interior Italian restaurant night. Marty eats dinner with Mermaid Girl. I just have to say, this dinner is delicious. <laughs> you look so beautiful. <laughs> and thank you for dressing up as a mermaid. <laughs> thank you for the hundred bucks. <laughs> 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 